Hello everyone and welcome to Credit Finance. In today's video, I bring you an update regarding additional help for SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Senior Receipts is finally coming and this additional help is already approved and announced and we are going to give you complete detail about this massive development in this video. We are also going to tell you about 11 more checks that are coming or social security receipts worth 1850 and at the end we are also going to tell you about the enrollment in medicare because the list is here and we are going to give you all the details about this very important development so make sure you watch this video till the end let's start with the details of additional benefits Additional benefits are finally coming. Congratulations to all recipients. The Social Security Administration is informing recipients about help. Available for homeowners as well as renters. During the pandemic, financial help can affect eligibility for supplemental security income, also known as SSI or monthly SSI amount. However, emergency financial assistance received from the following program and funds. Funds will not count against in our recipients' eligibility or payment amount according to the Social Security Administration. So are you ready to know the financial assistance that you can get and yes, you need to apply for them as soon as possible. The first one is emergency rental assistance firm. Does not matter you live if you are renting a place or a room or a portion for a house or the whole house you are entitled to get emergency rental assistance fund. The second one is emergency assistance for rural housing and rural renter assistance. This is indeed one of the biggest developments of current time. The third one is homeowner assistance fund if you have a house and you own it and you are paying mortgage on it. Then this is indeed one of the biggest opportunity of current time. You can apply for homeowner assistance fund. Remember you need to be a recipient of SSI, SSDI, Senior Social Securities, VARRB, Low and Fixed Income Beneficiaries. Then you will be able to apply for it. If you receive any of these monthly benefits, you are entitled to apply for these benefits. The next one is Housing Assistant and Supportive Service Program for Native Americans. If you are a Native American and you know some who are Native American then congratulations because you do have the housing assistant and supportive service program available for you which could lead you to get more money and yes this is going to be a very big factor when it comes to getting more money from the government the next update is 11 more checks for social security recipients. You might must be thinking what's going on remember that millions of Americans are due to receive 11 more social security checks that reflect the COLA race. This year the cost of living adjustment has increased to 8.7% which means social security payments on average will rise by $140 to $1827 with the maximum benefit rising to $4,555 depending on your birthday month. Payments go out on the 2nd, 3rd and 4th Wednesday of the month. There are 11 payments of up to $455 remaining in the year of each individual. Who receives social security benefits? This is indeed one of the biggest development of current time. Because social security recipients seem to get less money and some are not seeing their checks on time and even not receiving their checks at all and right here on credit finance channel we will keep giving you very important updates about your benefits the next one is the medicare yes you need to enroll in medicare now if you receive ssi ssdi senior varrb low income fixed income or social security benefits remember for those looking to enroll in the program there are few ways to go about it by the way if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet we will request you to click on the subscribe button click on the bell icon to watch our video every single day. Now moving on the video there are paper enrollment forms that can be printed out or mailed to user fill out and send m. Remember another way is by calling 1800. Medicare that is 
नंबर वन एट हंड्रेड सिक्स डबल थ्री फोर डबल टू सेवन The Medicare website urges user not give personal information to plan callers as no one should call you without your permission. There are a lot of scam going on, so make sure you don't talk to anyone. If they say they are from Social Security Administration or Medicare and if they ask you for your personal information, always direct call them or remember they only send you a mail or email. And email as well there are a lot of scam so be sure you check the address every time and that's all the update that i have for today remember to turn on your notification button to know when i have uploaded a new video see you guys next time